What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Motes Film Session. And today, we're going to be talking about the Pat Fryer move touchdown, but more importantly, why 12 personnel is a beautiful thing for this Steelers offense, specifically in the red zone, baby. That's Pat Fryer move right there. You know, we're going to play it in full speed, and after that, we're going to break it down. But y'all go ahead and hit that like button one time on the front end of this thing. And please don't forget to subscribe for the culture one time, one time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. 12 personnel is what the Steelers are on offense. We got Jalen Warren as the back. Pat Fryer move. Darnell Washington. One running back. One, two tight ends. 12 personnel. All right. Then in terms of our receivers, we got George Pickens playing the X. He's the point guy. Allen Robinson is the motion guy. All right. Now, what I love about 12 personnel is this. When you play 12 personnel, the majority of the time, you're going to get teams in base or some type of big nickel. Because you know two tight ends, it's a higher probability of run. And it's a lot harder to get off the block when it's a tight end versus if it's a wide receiver. So that's why teams typically play with their bigger body personnel groupings when it's 12 personnel. Now, the difference for us is we got athletes that are tight ends. Pat Frymouth, he's an athlete, he can route run. Darnell, big body, can move. But they're also guys that can block, so you gotta respect it, right? So, play starts. We talk about shifts and motions. We get an indicator. It's a subtle motion from the stack with George Pickens to now <clears throat> getting at the uh, edge of the line of scrimmage because now this info tells them he can either go across, he could cut off this backside, or he could run a route. But you also got 24 right here reacting. What is that? It's information, it's man, right? Or at least you're feeling like it's a higher probability of man because he moved with this player, single high safety, still middle field closed, everything is holding is true. So now the thing I love is this. You get them in the personnel that you want because you're in 12. You get an indicator on coverage pre-snap, which makes it a lot easier on Kenny by having the motion from Allen Robinson. Now you got man concept, you know the call, and it's play action pass. Why do I love play action pass versus man in the red zone? Because watch number five right here. Just watch his eyes, okay? This is the linebacker. It puts you in a absolute bind because you have to play the run down here, but one false step and now you're in a trail and now it's smooth with NFL, actually this is college separation, that's beautiful. And he's able to get a nice, easy throw and catch for Kenny, touchdown. But it all started with the formation. 12 personnel. You get that personnel, now we gotta react here. Now I get information pre-snap. Now I get nice design, turns a play call. And now I'm gonna take advantage of your eyes. I secure my protection on the front end with Darnell. He's the extra guy just in case. Beautiful call, beautiful design, and beautiful execution. I wanna see more of it, baby. I want to see more of this. This is what we're looking for right here, though. This is why you drafted a, 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 a fire move. This is why you ultimately brought in a Darnell Washington. So that's how I feel about it. But you guys let me know your thoughts, man, on what we're seeing from the Steelers offense and what you think the potential of this 12 personnel, two tight end sets, you know, could do for us. But either way, you know, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.